The quote goes like this. One day or day one. One day or day one. Uh,
frustrated with myself <laughs> more than ever right now. So I go off as an, on a spiel and I look back at the video and what do I see to my surprise? <laughs> I'm not recording. <laughs> so we're gonna redo this bad boy. But basically what's in here, the dimatize, the collagen helped me with my terrible hair, got my terrible hair here, and my glutamine. Those are the things that are in this bad boy right here. Um, damn, it was a beautiful story, man. I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> well, well, maybe this one will be shorter because <laughs> I took it out the the phone earlier. But now they're on, they're both blue. Anyway. I just wanted to talk about that last chest day workout. So on that workout, it didn't end well. I was frustrated. I was ex like, I was pissed off, right? Because the reason why I was pissed off was because I thought this was my gift, right? It's easy, as you see from the transition from where my body was to where it is now, for me to do that, right? It's easy for me to actually file, to follow a diet plan. Like, it's no biggie to me. I can eat burnt chicken for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, those things are easy. Working out is easy. I thought, well, this is what I'm supposed to do. So as I'm talking, as I'm trying to get closer to God, as I'm asking him, what is my purpose in this life? What is my gift? What am I supposed to do? I think personally that this is it because this is something that comes easy to me. I think I'm good at it. I think I can be great at it if I put my mind to it. And then I get hurt with the knee, then the, sh then the shoulder, right? So now I'm sitting here because I asked God, hey, God, if this is what I'm supposed to do, tell me. If it's not what I'm supposed to do, let me know that too. So I'm here. Those things happen. And I'm assuming that this isn't it. I get hurt. And I'm like, is this what he's trying to tell me? That this isn't it? So I decided, you know what? Let's take a step back. Let's regroup. Let's recover, right? Because I look back at that week. And I was moving. I was on my feet all day. My body didn't, had not had any rest that whole entire week. From moving to, from, those, from those three, four days I had off, my body did not rest. So I was fatigued. Then I go ahead and try new workouts, which in turn hurt me. Because what I was doing already was working. So I should have just stuck with it. But, you know, you want to, me in my head, I'm like, oh, you know, you got to confuse the mind, the muscles and that and this and that. And that happened. So, as I sit here and talk to you guys, right? You know, I'm being transparent with you. This was hard for me because, you know, I was frustrated. And you guys don't deserve that, right? Because you're watching me do these videos, you know, following me as I work out. Hopefully, I'm giving you guys tips. Hopefully, you're loving the journey. Hopefully you're, you're on the ride with me for my journey and we're here as a team, right? But instead I decide to kick rocks. You know, I got pissed off and I didn't want to record and X, Y, and Z, right? So this is me being transparent, letting you guys know that, you know, we all make mistakes. We're all human, right? You know, I'm only a 25 year old kid trying to learn and get better. Trying to, 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 to be the best I can be every single day. Trying to eventually get to that status where I'm like a good dude. I'm, I got everything figured out. I'm chasing me 10 years from now. If you ever heard, if, that, if you know where that reference is from, let me know. Crazy inspirational speech. But anyway. So I just want to let you guys know that... It was unfair to you to do that to you guys, right? 
you know, I got in my feelings instead of looking at the facts and I became a brat, you know, and it's okay. We all make mistakes. It happens, right? For you, you're watching that video. You're like, oh man, that chest, it is what it is, right? Like for you, it's not a big deal. For me, it is because I try to be great or try to be the best I can be every single day, right? So for me, that pit, that ticked me off because I let my feelings get in the way when I should have been operating in my facts and, and remembering that I have an audience that is watching me, right? So if I'm being that way, you guys are going to be like, yo, why is he acting like a brat right now, right? But anyway, besides all that, as we sit here and we learn from that, I still personally believe that this is what I'm called to do. Unless God shows me otherwise, I feel like this is what I'm supposed to do. I want to get on here. This is, this is the way I feel I can inspire others, right? Because it's something I've always loved. I've always been passionate about was motivation and inspiring and all that. And on top of that, I could throw in with me working out, right? Like you saw the results, right? With my body. I went from a chunky monkey to I am now. And I honestly didn't start taking the diet seriously until January. So let's bring this all full circle, right? Just something I want to give to you. Be the best you can be every single day. That's it. Make small steps. You don't have to make big leaps. You don't have to try to save the world. Just make small steps every single day. I'll give you an example. One small step for you would be, if you're just starting working out, just get to the gym. That's it. You don't even got to lift weights. Just go in the gym. Do, do the treadmill. Walk for 30 minutes. Just start there, right? Just get the blood flowing. Learn about the gym. Learn about things you could do in the gym. Learn about weights. Learn about your different muscle parts. Learn about every single thing about the gym, right? You learn. You go from those 30 minutes of just walking to now maybe running. Then, okay, well, you don't want to run. You don't want to do cardio that day. Well, then go hit the weights and start learning about different machines, right? Try out different machines, you know? When you try out different machines, though, go light because it's something you've never done before. Fill it out. Feel how your body reacts to it. You know, you you have to learn your body. At the end of the day, that's what this game is about. Bodybuilding is about learning your body, that mind-muscle connection, helping it grow. If you want to make it grow, if you want to get shredded, getting shredded. If you want to be a power lifter, learning how to safely move heavy weight, just there's so many things you could do in the gym, right? But for me, the gym always correlates to life. That small little thing I had with my chest day, it cor- it bring you bring that full circle around, it correlates to my life. Why? Because that moment, it showed me that, okay, I have to cut that behavior and I have to operate in this behavior. Not with just the gym, but with just me and my life in general. If I want to get better... I have to cut that behavior out and I have to go this way. So (laughs) I guess where I'm going with this is make small adjustments every single day, right? You see something, you don't, you see something, right? But you also got to have the awareness to see you do something that shouldn't be done, right? You see it, you realize, okay, I messed up. You fix it for the next time. And if you and if you make the same mistake again, at least you know about it. At least you know, okay, uh, 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 like, or even if you catch yourself making it again, at least this time you caught it before it happened and now you redirect it, right? Life is literally all about trials, tribulations, error. That's how life is, right? You learn from your mistakes, you get better. It's literally it. It's the way of this life. So what I'll leave you guys with is we're back in the gym. I'm ready to pump some weight. Tomorrow is, is arm day. Grow these bad boys, you know. I know I got little arms. We'll get them bigger. Don't worry. I'm literally low-key thinking about bulking because, we, you know, we got a little lean. But I'm thinking about this bulk thing, man. I'm trying to get some muscle here. Yeah, man, I'm smelling myself right now. I just came off a 14-hour shift and went straight to the gym. I stink. (laughs) 
So we're gonna drink this bad boy right here. I'm gonna see what I have. Give me a little snack in the body. And then just start my day tomorrow, man. I got a, I got a, I got a beautiful day ahead of me. Hit some cardio, um, do my morning routine, meet up with a friend. After that, go food shopping. I gotta get my meats, come home, chill, put together some, some assembly stuff I gotta put together. You know, I gotta buy a. I still gotta buy a living room. Figure out where, how I'm gonna buy my living room. What is gonna be in my living room? So, you know, every day is different. You know, enjoy every single day like it's your last, man. Be happy. Like our life is too short to be upset, man. Just, just be happy. Honestly, if, if I get it, if you're not a, a church going person or a God praising person. Believe in something, believe in the universe, believe in an afterlife, whatever. I don't care. Believe in something, believe in your dog. Just believe in something that's going to help you every single day to keep going, right? Um, that's honestly all I got for you guys. I'll talk to you as always. Peace.